As these videos show, when a government wants to silence journalists, imprisonment is a very powerful tool. But we can pierce that wall of silence. In the middle of your table are postcards with petitions calling for the release of Wang Chen and Askarov. Also on your tables are pens. You all still remember pens. Please use them. Sign these petitions. Put the petitions back in the silver trays, and we'll collect them at the end of the evening and deliver them to the governments of China and Kyrgyzstan. You'll be joining more than 8,000 other people around the world who have already signed petitions online. And you could also let others know and ask your network to join to join us in petitioning these countries. Please use the QR codes included in the programs and. Please mobilize your friends. By raising the international profile of Wang Chen and Askarov, we raise the political cost to the governments that keep them in such brutal prisons. As mentioned earlier, the number of journalists behind bars has steadily risen since, 20, since 2001. Turkey's title as top jailer is followed in rapid order by Iran, China, Eritrea, and Syria. The good news is that Syria's, that CPJ's advocacy on behalf of these imprisoned journalists really does work. This year alone, our efforts have helped secure the release of at least 42 jail journalists around the world. Over the last four years, <laughs> over the last four years, we, we, over the last five years, four of the journalists that we honored at this dinner with the International Press Freedom Award were in jail. Three of them have subsequently made it to this stage to tell us about their ordeal and, th and to thank us for not forgetting them. Thank you for taking the time to sign these petitions. We look forward to the night when Wang Chen and Askarov can join us to receive their awards and to tell us about their ordeal. Thank you so much.